The idea of low observable technology was foundational to a lot of early Skunk Works endeavors. The U-2 was exploring low observable materials and looking at survivability from an altitude perspective. And then at that point, Kelly was already ahead of the game looking at the next dimension of survivability, which was speed. The SR-71 began to incorporate low observable technologies on the leading edges, some elements of radar absorbing material, and then Ben took it to that next level with the shaping of the aircraft. And the faceted dimension of the F-117 brought that construct into our design acumen to allow us to begin shaping our airplanes for low observable technology. So as we continue to explore survivable systems, information has become a key part of that survivability. Both the F-117 and the F-22 had early versions of decision-aiding tools that were available to a pilot to make decisions real time in the mission. The F-35 took that capability and increased it significantly. The Lockheed Martin team and our Skunk Works team is devoted to continuing the advancement of this technology and this technology space, and we continue to invest such that we can stay ahead of our adversary and put the best capabilities in the warfighter's hands.